Hi friends, welcome to Storytime with Tristan. Join me today as we read Maddie's Grumpa Grumpa Day by Zoe Daran and illustrated by Carlos Lemos. As we read our story today, I want you to see if you can make any connections to how our character is feeling. Huge teardrops poured from Maddie's brown eyes. Her sad face gazed through the school bus window as gigantic raindrops splashed against the glass. Her hard school day had finally come to an end. The red lights flashed and the yellow bus came to a full stop. But before the doors opened completely, Maddie squeezed through them and darted into her mother's outstretched arms. Hello, sweetie. Why are your eyes raining? Her mother asked, kissing Maddie's wet cheeks. Maddie frowned. Because everyone at school was grumpy and mean. Mommy smiled and hugged Maddie. What if we went puddle splashing? Would that frown go away? She asked, wiping warm tears from Maddie's face. Yes, Mommy. Off they went, jumping, splashing, and giggling. They stomped through big, small, and deep puddles, and even some teeny tiny ones before arriving home. That was fun, Mommy, Maddie proclaimed. I had fun too. Let's go inside and make some hot chocolate. Maddie sat on the floor close to her mother. She slurped mountains of whipped cream from her hot cocoa. Are you comfy? asked her mommy. Yes, Maddie replied. Great, so tell me about your day. Maddie nuzzled in closer. Well, I asked Mr. Davis if we had homework. He made a mean scary face and said, everyone moans and groans, just leave me alone. Is it time to go home? Her mommy's eyes widened and her eyebrows raised. What happened next? Then I saw Mrs. Corrine in the hallway and I asked her if she ever made mud pies in the rain. She said, Grumpa Grumpa this day, Grumpa Grumpa go away. It's too wet to play. Oh my, her mommy said. After that, I asked Rye Miller in the cafeteria what he had for lunch. He said, brunch with no crunch. I have little to munch. All I have is a soggy old lunch. Maddie's mother leaned over and kissed her. Tomorrow will be better. Everyone just had the Monday morning blues. Maddie blinked twice. What's the Monday morning blues, Mommy? Well, honey, sometimes when your weekend is relaxing and fun, you don't want it to end. When it does, it can make some people sad or even grumpy, her mommy replied. Mommy, are you and Daddy ever grumpy on Mondays? Maddie asked. Maddie's mommy made a goofy face and exclaimed, Grumpa Grumpa Stew, Grumpa Grumpa Chew. We could never be grumpy with a daughter as cute and cuddly as you. After some tickling and giggling, Maddie started her homework while Mommy prepared dinner. Before long, Maddie heard her favorite sound, the garage door opening. Her daddy was home from work. She jumped up and zoomed to the garage. Daddy, shouted Maddie. He scooped her up with a big bear hug. How was my Maddie's day? Her father asked. Maddie replied, it was a grumpa grumpa day, daddy. Puzzled, daddy asked, what's a grumpa grumpa day? Maddie answered, it's when everyone has the Monday morning blues, Daddy. He giggled. Daddy definitely had a grumpa grumpa day. Tell Mommy and me all about it, Maddie said. Okay, but only if we can take the Pony Express. This was Maddie's favorite game. Maddie leapt on her daddy's back like a grasshopper. Giddy up, she yelled. The Pony Express reared up and trotted into the kitchen. Mommy! Daddy had a grumpa grumpa day too, shouted Maddie. Daddy sure did, he said. Our big girl had one too, but she's all better now, said Mommy. Mommy made it better. We splashed through puddles and had cocoa, Maddie exclaimed. Wow, Mommy is an expert at cheering us up, her daddy said. It's dinner time, you two. Wash your hands and Daddy can tell us all about his day after dinner, her Mommy said. After dinner, they snuggled on the couch, and Maddie told Daddy all about her Grumpa Grumpa day. Daddy, how was your day? Well, when I arrived at the office today, I saw Ricky Howe in the parking lot. I asked him if we had a 10 a.m. meeting. 
He said, I've got the Monday morning blues with a real short fuse. I just want to go home and snooze. Maddie replied with curiosity, Wow, and what happened next, Daddy? Then I ran into Mr. Henderson, and I asked him who got the promotion, and he said, I've got the Monday morning blues. No time to pick and choose. Somebody stole my daily news. Giggles bubbled from the couch as Maddie and her mommy learned about her daddy's grumpa grumpa day. Finally, on my way to lunch, I asked Everett if the company baseball team won Friday's game. He said, I've got the Monday morning blues. All we ever do is lose. I need a vacation cruise. What did you say, Daddy? Maddie asked. I told him that a vacation was a good idea. In fact, I'm taking a vacation day next week to skip the Monday morning blues. Can I stay home with you, please, Daddy? I want to skip my Grumpa Grumpa day, too, Maddie exclaimed. Sounds good to me, but only if Mommy takes off with us. Maddie stared at Mommy with her puppy dog eyes. Please take off with us, she begged. Mommy grinned and replied, Grumpa Batty, Grumpa Fatty, I love my Maddie and Daddy. Grumpa who, Grumpa knew, I love spending time with the two of you. The sweet laughter of little Maddie's voice echoed across the room as she stretched out between her mother and father. It had been a long day for Maddie. Her eyelids grew heavier as her mommy caressed her long ponytails. Mommy, Daddy, she sleepily called out. Do people get the Tuesday morning blues too? The end. Were you able to make any connections to how Maddie was feeling in this story? I sure was. Sometimes our day just doesn't go exactly as we planned. Maddie was having a tough day, but her mom and dad helped her turn her grumpa grumpa day into a happy day. I think this story teaches us a valuable lesson that even though we may not be having the best day, we can always find a way to turn our day around by doing things we enjoy. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Special thanks to Zoe Duran for granting permission to read aloud Maddie's Grumpa Grumpa Day. Make sure to check out BooBearBooks.com to get your own copy of his book. Thanks for joining me on Storytime with Tristan. Click the description below to find out how you can purchase today's book. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'll see you next time for another reading adventure.